Hi guys, what's up? Here's Max. I don't know about you, but if there's one thing I've always wondered, it's why does Super Saiyan God exist? I mean, how can Saiyans, being mortals, use transformations that use divine key? Have you ever stopped to think about it? Why didn't we see a divine transformation for Earthlings, or Namekians, for Frieza's race, or for any other race in Dragon Ball? Why do only Saiyans have these transformations? I found myself thinking about these past few days, and in this video, I want to share with you some things I've thought about that might solve this whole Dragon Ball Super mystery. Stay connected in the channel and let's go to the video! An ability that is used a lot in Dragon Ball, especially from Dragon Ball Z onwards, is the ability to sense Ki. This skill is very important because it is a kind of sixth sense that Dragon Ball warriors have, and that allows them to measure the power of their opponents, locate them, and even anticipate blows, since feeling the Ki, the warriors can identify a blow that is coming from behind, and he is not seeing, for example. But when Goku found Beerus, something strange happened. He wasn't able to sense the God of Destruction's Ki, and it wasn't just Goku who had this inability, but all the other warriors. After all, if Earth's warriors could sense Beerus' key, they wouldn't have attacked him like that. The divine hierarchy and divine beings in Dragon Ball are very well defined and have specific roles in the universes. There are the King Kais, which are minor gods responsible for watching over the cardinal points of the universe. There are the Supreme Kais, the gods of creation, who are responsible for creating things in the universe. And then there are the Hakaishans, the god of destruction, who destroy things in the universe. Universe. And besides that, we have other very important deities such as angels, who serve as assistants and tutors to the Hakaishans, the Grand Priest, Daishinkan, who serves as Zeno's assistant and advisor of sorts, and then we have Zeno, who is the supreme deity from Multiverse. All these gods have very well-defined roles in the series as we can see. But then why are Saiyans an exception to all of this? Why does this race, which is a race of mortals, possess divine key if they play no divine role in the hierarchy for the universe? For them to get these divine forms, they would have to be gods or have a divine offspring, right? According to Shenron, any Saiyan with a pure heart can become a deity if he goes through a ritual with five other Saiyans. This means that divine key is present within the race of Saiyans. Let's say in their genetics. Five Saiyans with righteous hearts must join hands and instill their inner light into another. With his friend's energy flowing through him, this Saiyan shall then take the form of a Super Saiyan God. And this is so true that even an unborn baby can perform this ritual. And it was in the case with Pan, who participated in the ritual while still in Videl's womb. And Pan isn't even a full-blood Saiyan. She's only 25% Saiyan, since not even Gohan is a pure blood Saiyan. So the Saiyan race contact with the divine happens regardless of things like fighting power, training, or key control. It's something that is present within the race. Vegeta didn't need a ritual to become a Super Saiyan God, only with training he he managed to reach his divine form. Another proof that the divine key is already within the Saiyans. We don't know about the origin of Saiyans. The only thing we know is that every Saiyan can transform into an Uzaru if they look at the moon and have a tail. But in the last movie, we saw that the Uzaru is not just a transformation where the user turns into a giant ape. It is a form that is already within the Saiyans. And even though he does not have a tail and has not even looked at the full moon, he will be able to use the Uzaru's power, like Brawly does in his Ikari form. Not sure. It looks as though he's managed to transform somehow and take on the incredible strength the Saiyans have whenever they become great apes. Only he's remaining in his human form retaining his speed and agility. The Saiyan is already born with the Uzaru power and the divine power in his body, and if they learn to control one of these two, they will receive an absurd fighting power, as was the case with Brawly and Goku and Vegeta with their new transformations of colored hair. We know that unlike all other races, Saiyans have divine ki within them, and we also know that Goku was inspired by a Chinese monkey god legend. If we play with words, we can reach an interesting conclusion. What if, in fact, all Saiyans are descendants of a monkey god called Uzaru. In the past, there was a god called Uzaru who being a deity, we can deduce that he had divine key. And over the years, his power was passed on to his children, grandchildren, great-grandchildren until today. So the reason to say is having divine key is that they are descendants from a god. You might be asking me now, but Max, what kind of deity would Uzaru be in the divine hierarchy? 
That's a good question. Thanks for asking. Well, looking at all the types of gods that exist in the multiverse, he certainly wouldn't be the supreme god like Zeno. Obviously, he would not be an angel because he does not belong to the race of angels. And he also could not be a King Kai or Supreme Kai because they belong to a race that is born from a sacred tree called the Kaiju Tree. That is, they are classes of gods that are already born in a specific race. So Uzaru could only have been a god of destruction. Hakaishin's immortals chosen by an angel or someone higher to become gods. One proof that the Hakaishins were mortals who became gods is that they are all from different races except for Beerus and Champa who are brothers. In conclusion, I believe the reason for Saiyans to have divine ki is that many, many years ago, there was a being called Uzaru who was an extremely powerful warrior and became a god of destruction. Uzaru left his descendants who are the Saiyan people and because they are descendants of this god, all those of the Saiyan race have divine genetics in their bodies. Makes sense, right? This may seem nonsensical, guys, but it's not absurd. Since until today, an explanation has never been given about this ability of Saiyans to use Divine Key. And this lack of explanation is even a little strange, actually. And there is a possibility that the series will explain it someday. When they explain about it, the possibility of saying that Saiyans are descendants from a deity is very high because it is the easiest explanation and the one that makes the most sense. What did you think of this theory? Do you think it's possible or not? Leave your opinions here in the comments. And if you have your own theories on why Saiyans have Divine Key, please tell me. If you enjoyed this video, don't forget to like and subscribe to the channel as we become 150,000 subscribers. Until the next time, goodbye.